Good evening, my name is James Flores and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a very special organ recital for you today. I will be playing the complete organ works of Graham Twist with the assistance of my friend Vitas Pinkavichus all the way in Vilnius, Lithuania. And before I keep talking too much, let's just get on with the first piece and that is Impromptu Marcia de la Corona. That was Graham Twist's Impromptu Marcia de la Corona. And I actually um, am going to speak with Graham 
about this piece, so let's go on and see what he has to say about it. Um, that was inspired by lockdown. Uh, I was uh, sat at my home digital organ and feeling, I'm sure as everyone looked frustrated uh, in that the things I wanted to be doing that I normally did, I couldn't do. And uh, the opening bars just sort of came from nowhere. And I thought, hmm, um, it, it had a bit of angle with it. And I wanted to be sort of mischievous. So I looked to see how I could develop uh, that. And, and out came, uh, I thought I'd, I'd make my COVID-19 piece. And then I, I do struggle knowing what to call them because rubbish isn't quite the title you can attach to everything. Uh, so I, I thought, well, improvise. So it's an impromptu. And then it's in 4-4 four, four time, like most of my music. So I thought, I'll call it uh, March of the COVID. And so I, I saw that Corona uh, in Italian work well, so it's uh, <laughs> an antidote to COVID-19. Thank you, Graeme, for that insight into Marcia della Corona. We'll now move on to two quieter pieces, um, two chorale preludes, one on the hymn tune down Ampney and um, East Acklam. And um, I'll play them both uh, in a row and we'll head over to Graham and he'll give us a little talk about these two beautiful compositions.
we'll now head over to Graham and he'll talk about those two chorale preludes that I just played. And I just sat down at the piano and uh, out, out came the, the right hand accompaniment and I popped the, the left hand melody with it and, and a pedal line. Uh, and uh, you've been playing James a bit of school eaters recently and uh, am I a, a, a big sort of fan? There's, there's a sort of, well, hint for everything in, in my music. Uh, but that came together very quickly. I played it a few times during my, my tenure as a church organist and people liked it. Uh, and uh, I've still got the manuscript book that I put it in. I've, I've obviously uh, rewritten it now in uh, with Sibelius software, but it, it was my first edition. And then East Hatton uh, was a total surprise because uh, because of you, Jay, recording uh, for me, uh, Kyle Cromer from the USA got in touch with me and said, oh, would I please write something to uh, commemorate or celebrate public oh, is still with us? Dr. Francis Jackson on third birthday, and would I do something with East Saxon? So uh, I said to him, well, Dr. Jackson's already written his own prelude on that in tune. I couldn't possibly uh, do that. It would be such a sacrilege. And, and Kyle said that he wasn't too on Dr. Jackson's writing. It wasn't quite sort of harmonious enough for him. It was a bit too modern. So I said, oh, I'll, I'll have a look at it. Uh, so I sat down at the organ. And, and out came the first page. I don't know why. I played the hymn tune first, and out it came. And then when I looked at the hymn tune, it goes through some wonderful key changes, but oh, so difficult to to, to write around. So then uh, it yeah. took me another two weeks to work out what to do with the rest of it. Uh, the last piece in my half of the program is Idyll. And um, Graham co composed this piece because I referred him to a competition run by Tim Knight Music. And that was, uh, he submitted this piece and actually is in the publication Organ Music for Quiet Moments. He was picked for the, in the, in the top five compositions. And you'll find a lot of renditions of this piece by several organists on, on YouTube. Uh, it's a very beautiful piece and I've probably performed it uh, twice already. But, um, I'm performing it on a different sample set, and I've forgotten to tell you what sample set I've been using this whole time, and that is the Hemnitz Zauer organ by Sonus Paradisi. It's a German romantic organ, um, lots and lots of eight foot foundation stops. It's just a very rich and colorful organ. Uh, first manual here, second and third. And because this organ has a waltzer or a crescendo pedal, I thought I would use it for Idyll. Um, I'm sorry Graeme, I'm not adhering to your registrations of eight and four foot flutes and the great eight foot flute with the box closed. I'm going to be using the crescendo pedal. <laughs> and um, I must admit I gave Vidas the, um, the hard part of this recital. He's got the um, Toccata Giocosa uh, trumpet tune and the introduction of Pascalia. And two of those pieces were actually uh, written, um, oh, sorry, one of those pieces, the trumpet tune was written for me, and the introduction of Pascalia, uh, Graham commissioned me to record that piece um, sometime last year, about this time last year, something like that. Anyway, enough of me talking. I will play Idyll and then we'll head over to Graham and he'll talk about the piece. And then I will introduce you to Vidas who will play the rest of this recital.
wasn't the crescendo pedal just amazing on this organ um, it's just so so seamless um, to get to full organ at that climactic point in this piece we'll now hear from my friend Vitas Pinkovicius who will take over uh, the second half of this recital Hi guys, this is Vidas and uh, I'm very delighted that James Flores invited me to participate in his uh, joint recital of uh, organ compositions by Graham Twist. Twist is, uh, Twist is our uh, wonderful supporter and uh, wonderful composer, so I'm very glad to be joining this today. I will start my program with the trumpet tune that he created uh, in 2020. It was dedicated actually to James Flores and I'll be using uh, uh, Alessandria sample set by Piotr Grabowski. It's a magnificent three manual instrument and um, it's a French, uh, French style symphonic instrument but also very versatile. It has even a tuba so I will be playing this trumpet tune with the tuba in my right hand so it's really really fun to hear and to play. Let's do it. Uh, for what he, he's done and so that 
trumpet tune just came to me. I knew that James had a penchant for trumpets and tubas and uh, uh, uh. So next on my program is Introduction and Pasacalia by Graham Twist, which he created in 2018. Recently, um, uh, James Flores has recorded this wonderful piece, and uh, I also wanted to play this for this occasion. It's it's a wonderful introduction and Pasacalia in the style of uh, Reinberger and perhaps influenced by Bach's Pasacalia structure as well. You will hear some, some very romantic sounds, chromatic harmonies, which uh, this Alessandria uh, sample set uh, can accommodate really, really well. Enjoy.
increasing is that I'm having it. I'm going to write uh, in, uh, an introduction of Pasacalia in homage to Ryan Berger, but for Michael. So uh, the, the introduction came along and uh, I had my pedal theme, not quite a circle of it, and uh, I, I just started. And some of those movements are mine, and uh, most of them, of course, are reworking from the Ryan Berger, you know, which I'm happy to acknowledge. They're the ones that I can play best in there. Those were the ones that I, I like the most. And of course, there's a little nod to, to the great C minor Pasacalia. Boy, I wish I could play it all. I can play some of it, but it's an incredibly challenging piece. I will conclude my part of the program with Graham Twist's Toccata Giocosa, uh, which was created in 2020, very recent composition and uh, dedicated to Alex. Um, in, in spring 2020, I believe uh, the background of this piece is that um, everyone is suffer was suffering from the quarantine in spring and um, upon receiving good news uh, of his sister a positive uh, cancer treatment, Graham uh, composed this Toccata Giocosa, sort of a joyful composition and uh, very, very suitable for this Alessandria sample set, which obviously is, is a very, very powerful organ, versatile sample set. And organ was made by, uh, by Mascioni company in Italy, which creates wonderful, amazing instruments of in uh, any style.
before, and, and I've listened to the weather pastor in seven, and clearly that had inspired me, and so there were about uh, six or seven bars, uh, the opening bars that just exist now, and, and then I thought, oh, this is too hard, I've abandoned it. So um, when I come across uh, Alex Straciano and uh, made contact with him and was, was so impressed, I said, would you like me to try and write something for you? So he said he'd be thank you so much for watching for listening to these pieces that i uh, performed uh, it was really delightful uh, evening or afternoon or morning uh, wherever you are in the world hopefully and uh, i hope to play more of graham's uh, pieces uh, whenever he chooses to compose wonderful so let's go back to james flores now Well, Vitas, you played absolutely amazing, and I'm very jealous of that sample set, the Alessandria sample set that you have, and I hope to acquire it very soon. Um, getting sample sets is a very expensive hobby. And on that note, if you'd like to, su to support Vitas and I, um, we'll link to um, a thing called Buy Me A Coffee, and that's just a little token of appreciation uh, for the work we did to provide you with this recital uh, this evening. And of course, I'll leave links, well, I won't leave a link to the scores because there are no links. I'll leave an email address um, where you can uh, contact Graham for a copy of any of the pieces this evening, and I'm sure he will send it to you. And that is all for this evening. Thank you again for tuning in, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye for now.